Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have got fair idea about uh, the properties, the basic properties of quadrilateral, let us now discuss about the types of quadrilateral. Now, as I had mentioned before that there are many different types of quadrilaterals based on the uh, values of the angles and the values of the sides. Now, whether their sides are equal or not, parallel or not, whether their angles are equal or not, based on that they have been divided into so many different types. So, the first type of quadrilateral that we will talk about is a trapezium. So, here this, this is what you see as a trapezium. This is how a trapezium looks like. Now, how do you know that which quadrilateral is a trapezium? So, the most important feature of trapezium is that one pair of sides are parallel. Now, when I say one pair of sides are parallel, of course, these sides have to be opposite sides because adjacent sides will never be parallel. They cannot be parallel basically because adjacent sides they meet at a point so they can't be parallel so here only one pair of sides will be parallel that means one pair of opposite sides like in this diagram you see this side let, let us name this a b c d so in this diagram we see that a b is parallel to c d so at least one pair of sides need to be parallel so that that is the most important characteristic of a trapezium. Now a trapezium can look in many different shapes like one shape is shown here. This is also a trapezium something like this because here also if you see this side and this side they are parallel. So this is also an example of a trapezium. Similarly when you look at this this is also a trapezium because you have at least one side parallel one pair. Now it is not necessary that only one pair has to be parallel. It is something like at least one pair of sides should be parallel and obviously those sides are the opposite sides. So that is a trapezium. The next type of quadrilateral that we will discuss is a parallelogram. The most common type of quadrilateral because in parallelogram itself we have many different types of parallelogram again so parallelogram it has the word parallel in itself so here in parallelogram two pairs of sides are parallel so we can actually say that the opposite sides in parallelogram are parallel so this side let's again name it a b c d so in this case a b is parallel to c d and AD is also parallel to BC. So both the pairs of sides are parallel. So both opposite sides are parallel. Now here not only opposite sides are parallel, here opposite sides are also equal. So the opposite sides are parallel and the opposite sides are also equal. So these are the two features which distinguish a parallelogram. The third type of quadrilateral that we will discuss is a kite. The kite is a very known thing I am very sure to all of you. So you see this uh, shape is also in the shape of a kite. Now what are its properties? Here two adjacent pairs of sides are equal. That means adjacent side, this side and this side. So lengthwise these two are equal. Similarly these two are equal. So here two adjacent pairs of sides are equal. So that's the most key property of a kite. So we can say here in this case AB is equal to AD and also BC is equal to CD. So this is what distinguishes kite from other quadrilaterals. Now kite can also come in many different shapes. Now something like this, if a diagram is drawn like this, where this is equal to this and this is equal to this. So this is also a kite because you have one pair of sides equal. Again, you have another pair of adjacent sides equal. So a kite can look like this as well. So always do not go just by the look of the quadrilateral. Just by looking at the quadrilateral, do not decide whether it is a parallelogram or a trapezium or a kite. 
look for the properties of that image to decide what it is. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.